Hello, everyone. This is Jenny Maddox. I'm an independent consultant and new regional vice president with Arbonne International just for like three days now. So exciting. I am doing this call tonight um, on asking. Asking is all about application. That's what I'm going to be talking about. So excited that you're here listening and excited if you're listening later. I hope this really helps you out. So the first thing I want to say is to be sure to be updated about all the specials, about all the new products, about all the incentives that Arbonne has to offer. So you probably get messages from every direction. You get messages from the people whose team you're on, you get messages in your email from Arbonne, you can go to the source under digital toolkit and you can see all of these new things. So there's no reason that we shouldn't have all the new things that are going on. Um, so be sure and be updated because that's gonna, those are actually created by Arbonne to help us, to help us grow our business, to help keep momentum going. So take advantage of those incentives um, and use them wisely. Like the new trip, the trip that comes out every December, that's going to help build your business and get you more money um, because it's just an exciting thing. I mean, I don't know about you and your current job, but my, physical therapy job, I don't earn a trip um, in the current ownership of the company um, if I do my job well, but we do with Arvon, and I literally just earned a car by doing my job. I've been doing physical therapy, working my hiney off for 13 years, and I never earned a car. <laughs> so anyway, like just use those things, um, whatever is in front of you, the incentives to your advantage. That's what Arvon does, and that's why they put them out there. So the second thing is application is all about the information and the knowledge that you are taking in. So those things are key. The knowledge is literally at our fingertips, right? It's on our phones. So don't try to make it harder than it is. Read the stuff <laughs> and do what it says. Then also use the information that you're hearing on training calls. And here's the thing, put it into action. Personal development is the most important thing to being successful. Listening and reading are most important, but not if we don't apply. Because if we don't apply, then there's no point in knowing it. Once you have all the information from reading and listening, then the application is imperative. Otherwise, it's just knowledge on ice. If you all just wanted knowledge on ice, then you wouldn't be wasting your time right now on this call with me. So I know that you are listening because you want more than just knowledge on ice. So make it a point to do that for yourself and apply what you learn. So like I said, we're on this call tonight to get our ask in gear. I think so often we're just putting information out, putting information out, putting it out, wearing our Arbonne shirts, wearing our Arbonne cat hats, waiting for someone to say, run up to us and say, hey, I want to buy Arbonne from you. Um, guess what, guys? That's not going to happen. <laughs> and if it does, it's not going to happen enough to grow your business to a place where you want it to be. We have to ask. Asking is the one thing, one thing we have to do that we're in control of to move our businesses forward. So there are all kinds of ways to share Arbonne. Do you wanna host a party for me? Do you wanna to come to the party that I'm having for Arbonne? Do you wanna hop on and watch my Facebook party? Do you want to go to a car presentation with me? Do you want to hop on Zoom and watch our team discover Arbonne? There are so many ways you can ask. Do you, do you want to watch a video and learn a little bit about what I've been doing with Arbonne? So many things, um, so many ways you can uh, go about asking. So tonight we're going to focus on inviting our top 10 to take a look at this business because let's be honest, it's the best product that we have. When we start with the business, then we have the product to fall back on afterwards. But if we start with the product, then we can't be like, oh, hey, do you want to take a look at the business to sell the products that you're not even interested in? It doesn't work that way, guys. But here's the thing. If someone's like, I really need to lose weight. I really need something for this skin. If they want to lose weight, we're going to offer the 30 days of healthy living. If they want to do something for their skin, we're going to offer the RA9 skincare first, not the business. <laughs> So don't be robots, like we wanna be authentic. So please remember that. So I know asking is scary. 
don't don't think that I don't realize that. That's why we're on this call. But it is the one thing that we need to be willing to do and step out and do um, to move our business forward. And let me just tell you, and I promise you this, the more that we do this one thing, the more that we step out of our comfort zone to do this one thing, the more we're getting ourselves set up to experience a miracle. I got to this place in my business one ask at a time. So why not start now? Now's the perfect time. Consistency compounds and practice makes perfect. Don't wait, start today. So what I want you to do, I don't need to see your face for this call, but I do love seeing all your faces. Um, I would rather see your fingers moving and um, working because that means money for you. So go to puremomentumnations.com. I'm going to be talking a little bit while y'all do this. And I will also share my screen with you if you need me to. Go to team resources. And I'll, I'll do this with y'all in a minute. But y'all can go ahead and start. And it's puremomentumnationsplural.com. And then you're going to click on the drop down list. It says how to ask people to take a look at Arbonne. So we're going to stick to the, the top part of that. It talks about new consultants ask. And if you're not new, we can change it around really easy for you. So what I want to say is when you come to that first blue verbiage, copy and paste that and put it into your notes or put it into a text without a, without a sender, <laughs> put it into a Facebook messenger um, message without a sender while we um, change it up a little bit and make it right for you. So if you are, we're on an interactive call where people are really working. So if you're listening to this later, go ahead and go to Sandra Connell's nation page and get that verbiage, go to your nation page and get that verbiage and you can work with us during this call. So tonight, asking our top 10 dream team people, um, these people are kind of scary because we already look up to them in some way. They're a leader in their community. They're a leader in their family. They're a leader in their career. But we know that they would be rock stars in this business. Y'all, if we don't ask them, someone else will. And are you willing to let that happen? So we're not here to use people. We genuinely love this business and we love people. And we really do want to offer this amazing opportunity to others. We are offering a gift, not trying, to manip not trying to manipulate people. We are authentically offering the opportunity of a lifetime. It's so important to stay humble and realize that you are not doing them a favor. We have a gift of Arbonne, and we are doing them a favor by sharing it with them. We are doing them no favors if we withhold Arbonne from them because we know how amazing this company is if you've been in it for a little while. So we need a mind shift from, I need them to help me. That's a me mindset. The better way is I need them, I need to tell them so they can be blessed too. That takes the focus off of you. Me, 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 run away quickly from that mentality. It is about others. When you take, when you get to that place, it is a game changer. Make it about others. There's no right way to talk to people about Arbonne. The number one most important thing is that you are passionate and you are authentic and that you are true to yourself. The verbiage on this page is to help you learn how to have a genuine conversation about Arbonne without being pushy, manipulative, or on the other hand, too vague. We want to build trust with people. The more they trust you, the more open you are to listening um, is going to build those relationships. So just be genuine. Remember that all the verbiage on this site is a starting point. It's where I started. You want, you want what you say to sound like you. So tweak it and make it your own. But be careful not to change it too much to sound weak or scared or like you're putting people out if you have time, if you don't mind, would you mind? Those are the things we want to avoid. Remember that you are a powerful business person running a multi-million dollar business, and this business is an amazing gift. You truly are doing others a favor by offering it to them. Richard Bliss Brooks, he's um, an incredible 
teacher about network marketing, has been doing it for a very long time, very successful. Um, this is what he says. Asking is better than not asking. You learn when to ask by asking and getting no's and then studying what you could have done differently. I suggest asking some people now, like right now, even if you don't feel ready and see what you learn from it. That's a quote from him. So now I'm at the place, like a lot of that I added to it was from Sandra's website. So we don't reinvent the will. Um, we just make it our own and we don't make it weak. So new consultants, and like I said, we can change that blue verbiage to um, any consultant. Um, I skip that part. So for the next, let's see, it's 814. So till 820, if y'all are ready and you have that um, copy and pasted already, and I know a lot of you on here are not new and, and some of you are new. So you're going to keep it the same in the business about just starting a business. And if you aren't new, you can say, um, you can start with, hey, beautiful, or hey, Sarah, or hey, friend, whatever sounds like you. Just say, um, I know this is random, but I am just so excited about what's happening in my Arbon business right now. This company is incredible. It helps people get healthy and wealthy. It's just a no brainer. I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I really think Arbon would be a blessing to you. Would you be willing to jump on a call? So that basically means like if you're on my team, then you and I and that person can get on a Zoom call like this or meet at a coffee shop. So you're not gonna say get on a call if you wanna meet at a coffee shop. Meet up and learn a little bit more about what I have to offer. But another way you can say it is, would you be willing to watch a video about um, to learn a little bit more about what we have to offer? So I hope that makes sense. All you have to do is just change one word. Um, I do not ever say, <laughs> I promise I won't bother you again if you just come listen because I can't keep that promise. So I do not say that. Um, so anyway, I take that out. So, I think it's time we're going to ask. Like I said, we have five minutes and we can do our ask. And then I will briefly go over follow up. And after that, we will have our questions. And feel free, like if you have a question you think it'll help everyone, then you can ask it out loud. And I will, I'm not going to look at the chat till the end because I'm going to do ask you, like I said. I don't know if I said this, but be sure and write down and keep track. Um, when we did the Game Changer training with Richard Bliss Brooks, he said, if you're not going to keep track, then you might as well not do anything. And if you're lost and you don't know what we're doing, um, maybe there's just Maybe it's just time to make a list of those people and then we can talk about um, your questions soon, very soon.
If you're feeling scared, just borrow my belief. Could y'all use two more minutes or is that just me? You can post or you can just say it out loud. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> We'll go to 8.22 for the ask. Okay, I will be honest, I did four, but I will finish mine later. I have a lot of ask to do. Um, I just want to, you can keep working. I'm just gonna share a little bit more with y'all. I'm gonna share my screen now. I don't know what is up right now, but um, just want y'all to see everything is here, okay? so. If you've sent your ask and you start getting replies or you get no replies, which is called an ignore, <laughs> or if you get no's, everything is right here. And this is what I did. I would go to this website over and over again until I got comfortable saying my own stuff. And that same thing can happen for you. So there's more ask um, as well. This is an amazing training. I share this with my new consultant, Authentic Networker. That's uh, from a Richard List Brooks training. Um, this is all kinds of different asks. So you have to come and read it and do it. Okay, how to respond if they say yes. Um, it depends what they said yes to. Did you ask them to get on a call or did you ask them to watch a video? If you asked them to watch a video, we have a ton of videos. Um, so just ask me or 
um, someone on your team, whoever you feel like asking, what's a good video I can send? You want to talk about like, you want to think about their age range and maybe what they do because we have some really great videos for all different ages. And then Cecilia Stoll's, you know, she is older, but hers is really good um, as well. So if they say yes, awesome, you're the best. Do you have a few minutes to watch it right now? So you're gonna send the video and the smart thing to do, to be perfectly honest, I don't ever do this. You can, I just feel like it's pushy. Like they want you, this is what a lot of people teach, to get a time that they're gonna watch it. Um, you can, but that way, I usually just check in the next day, did you watch it? Uh, and then they say, they say nothing or they say, I'm gonna watch it. And they know, you know, usually sometimes they do. So you wanna figure out when they're gonna watch it, send them the video. Once they watch the video, you basically have everything here. They've watched the video. You send them these questions. You can send them one at a time or four at a time. We typically know what these people that we're talking to are like, because they're our friends. They're in our network. And so if they can handle all four, send them all four. If they can only do one at a time, send them one at a time. People are different. Great, what did you like best about the video? You can do the same thing after the call or the coffee date. What did you like best? What intrigued you the most? Um, and following up. Fortune is in the follow-up. Um, you can also always want to ask, even at a party, someone's not muted. Um, who do you know personally who would benefit from the products? So we want to be always asking that because people are usually thinking of other people and they just don't think to say it. So when we ask them, then they'll, you know, probably share that. So, and then on a scale of one or zero to 10, uh, yeah, zero being you never want to hear the word Arbonne again, 10 being you want to sign up right now. Um, where do you see yourself? So 10, they're going to sign up with, as a new consultant. Five to nine, here's how you respond. Great. What do you think it was holding you back from a 10? So you always want to be asking questions. And then it tells you what to do. Tells you what to do if they're under four. Uh, tells you what to do if they're offered for, on if they're interested in products only. If they say no, guess what? There's another SoundCloud listening through objections. Um, not taking it personally. They're not saying, no, Jennifer, I hate everything about you. They're saying no to Arbon. It's okay, but it can hurt personally because we have this personal attachment to these products and company that we love, but we can't allow that to happen and paralyze us. We just have to learn how to listen through objections and realize that they're maybe just not in the place right now. And until you can respond with love, this is my own personal thing I go by, I don't respond at all until I can get over myself and respond nicely. So if they say they're too busy, if they say they don't have time working several jobs, if they say the products are too expensive, these are all here for you to be able to um, respond. And again, make it your own. These are just ideas. And also this hopefully is going to reassure you that if we have verbiage for all of these things, you're not the only person who's getting these. Everybody's getting them. The only difference between us and Sandra is that she's gotten more of them. So don't feel bad about no's. And I know even though I'm saying don't feel bad about no's, you're still gonna feel bad, but I just wanna encourage you to grow through that and try not to take it personally and just keep growing through that. <laughs> Again, personal development. Okay, so if they respond, if they don't respond, we can still respond to them. <laughs> um, we all get those messages and we click that we read them and then we forget. Just pretend that's what's happening. They just forgot. They don't hate us. They're not ignoring us. They don't have a billion other things that are way more important than us. They just simply forgot. They're busy. So then one to two days, hey, Brenda, I know you're super busy. The fact that you are busy and successful is exactly why I reached out to you. Um, I can't see this because the screen's there. I just wanted to make sure you got my message. So that's it, that's all you have to say. And then after two to five days, and those, those time frames are loose. Like I may do three to five days in the beginning, I may do a week on the second one. It really just space them out. Hi, and I like this one because, um, 
it lets them know it's okay to say no. So when you let them know that it's okay to say no, hi, I'm assuming A, you're really busy, B, you're not interested, or C, I offended you by asking. I hope it's not C, it's okay to say no. So when you give them permission to say no, they're gonna be like, oh no, it's not no, I'm just really busy. I mean, I've had anywhere from just awful things that people share with me um, that they're happening in their life, and that's why it's not the right time. It's not that it's never the right time for them. It's just not the right time because of this event that's terrible. I mean, and then that gives that opens the door where I can pray for these people um, when they share them with me. And as as long as we're being kind and we're not making about us and we're being uh, respectful, then they're going to be willing to share these things with you. And you're going to build that relationship, which is one of my favorite things about this, whether people join or not. So all of these are um, responding to ignores. So, so if they, um, if they say, anyway, if um, they say no, you can also ask if you can circle back with them in the next couple of months. And I've never really had anyone say no to that. People are always like, sure, like they don't know what to say. <laughs> so, so anyway. Remember, <laughs> write stuff down. Um, let me let me stop the share, and I'll just give you a little idea. Of, well, I'm not. I'm gonna give you a little idea, not that big stack, because that will freak you out. This is my my notebook full of names, probably at least 500. So if you need to write it down. I have those people. I can go back and see people that are preferred clients, that are consultants. Um, and people that I'd be like, oh, now's the time I need to go back and circle around to them. It is very, very valuable to keep track. It is 8.30. So I went over follow-up. Um, let me finish up by saying, don't reinvent the will, guys. There's so much information out there. Sometimes we think we have to write our own stuff. We have to make our own graphics. Well, all you are doing is holding your business up. You're keeping yourself from making money. Use what is there. If you don't like it, ask me, ask Sandra, ask Lexi, ask Lauren, ask Brandy, ask somebody. Use what there is. Um, I know where to find more. But this is truly all you need to get started with your ask. Um, as you go and become a product of the product, you'll have your own stories to share. And don't hear me wrong. You don't need them to start. Start now, earn while you learn. You will grow, you will shape, you will learn what it looks like for you in your business, which is awesome that everyone's business gets to look like them. That's what we want. We don't want all to look the same. So until then, use what is here to get started. Um, start strong, borrow my belief. Remember that the best copycat wins. And that's it, that's all I have tonight. Good night and thank you for listening.